Okay guys, in this tutorial, you can see the folder access denied. You will need a need to provide an administrator permission to delete this folder. So when I'm going to delete this folder, I just got this message. Not uh, while deleting. Even when you try to move the folder from one place to another place, sometime you'll be getting the message like this. The folder access denied. Okay, I still when I click on continue, I got another message. You need a permission to perform this action. You require a permission from something like trusted installer to make the changes to this folder. So when you are getting the message like this, when you are trying to delete any file or folder or when you are trying to move any file or folder from one place to another place. So how do you deal with this kind of issue? It's very simple and easy guys. So neither you can delete it nor you can move it from one place to another place. So it's very simple and easy. Just uh, give a right click on it and you are going to choose properties. Okay guys, you can see here it is properties. So click on this properties. When you click on this properties, you can see it's a read only files. Just remove it. Apply it. Apply to all the folders and subfolders. And then click on OK. Now you try to delete it. Click on continue. You can see again the same issue. Try again still not deleting now the next thing you can do give a right click on it here you have a properties again click on properties and now this time we'll go to security maybe some kinds of security issue <coughs> now in security you can see here is one trusted installer trusted installer and not given any kinds of permission. You can see special permission, not even a flu control, full control are allowed. So what I guide you guys gonna do? You can see click on edit over here. When you click on edit, now you're gonna choose trusted installer. You can see it don't allow you anything. It's a grayed out. So click on cancel. You're gonna choose advanced option. In advanced option, now you're gonna choose trusted installer. Trusted installer is given the full control. Now when you click on it, you can see it is given the full control. Uh, all the options is grayed out. Click on show advanced option, you can see all the options are grayed out. So just close it. Now here you have a system. Currently you are using a system, click on change. Now. What is the name of your desktop? Currently, you are logged in with uh, your system with a user. So what is the username one that you have used to log in? So currently, my username is, you can just uh, click on over here, advance. Click on find now. And you can see currently, my username is Dell. So you can make it large now somewhere there must be the username Dell so my computer is logged in with the username Dell so you can just uh, check your username you can see Dell so this is my username right now this is the username I've used to log in into my PC so, uh, so this is in my case, you're going to choose your username, here's the list of username, you're going to check it out, what is the username, one that you have used to log in into your PC. And select your username and then click on OK. And I click on check name, it's a uh, proper, now click on OK. You can see, now you can replace the honor on a sub content and object. So check this box. And then click on apply click on ok 
and then click on OK. Before that, you're going to check it over here, whether it's a Dell over here somewhere. Okay, here it is. You have a SK dot Dell. It is given. Click on change. Okay, don't have to click on change. Okay, first click on OK. Now, okay, at first click on OK. Now just try to delete it. Click on continue. Now you require permission from SK dot to make a change. This changes to this folder. Click on try again. It still won't allow you to delete. So what is the mistake we are doing? Just keep a right click on it. Now go to properties. Remove this read only. Click on apply. Click on OK. Go to security. Click on advance again. Here you have SK don't Dell. So you can see here, just get down to users are only given the read and execute permission. So give a click on it and try to give a full control to it. And then after now, this folder, sub folders and files. So choose this one and then click on OK. So now we have given the full control to all the users with SK don't. So here's the SK dot Dell. Now, along with the Dell, now we have given the permission to all the users with SK dot. Now, so here you have SK dot administrator. So give a click on it. Give a full control to it also. Click on OK. And then after you click on the system. So given the modification, you have full control to it and click on OK. So you have given the full control to almost all except application package. So even you can give the full control to the application package and all restricted application packages. Click on apply and click on OK. Click on OK. Now just try to delete the folder. You can see the folder deleted. Even you can move that folder now from one place to another place. This is simple and the easy way. <coughs> Sometime guys, uh, again after doing that, just go to properties and again Select any folder. Once you have deleted that folder, you can just select any folder over there and then go to security, click on advance, click on continue and okay guys, some of this stuff. It's fine, everything is fine. So I just wanted to check whether everything is normal back again or because giving a full control to all the four username is not appropriate so again you can make it as it is like it was previous so you can see everything is fine as it is so I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful so same is with this folder also when you try to just uh, delete it you get the same error message. See, you do not have permission. Do the same thing with this folder also. You go to properties. Go to security. You can see you don't have option over here. Something, sometimes it happens like this. Unable to display the current owner. So click on continue. And you get this. It's a trusted installer.
So what you guys gonna do over here? Somewhere you're gonna find allow allow trusted installer. You're gonna pull control. You don't have a pull control. System has a pull control. Local service none are given the pull control. List the folder. So administrator needs to give a full control. So you can see it's all grayed out. You don't even have an advanced option. So what do you guys can do? Just change over here. Click on advanced. Click on find now. You're gonna choose the owner. So check the username of your PC. Currently one that you have used to log in. So currently this is the username. Click on OK. Click on check name. Okay, now we have changed the owner. So click on check the box, click on apply, click on okay. Now, is the trusted installer is given the full control. Now, is the administrator, you will click on it, it's still the grayed out option. SK don't, it's still the grayed out option. So, click on okay now. Click on okay, try to delete the folder. Click on continue now still now when you go back to the properties check if option is still grayed out and so properties now go to security now you can see you have all these options click on advance and then after now we'll give a permission to the users now we give a permission to the users it's a read and execute permission so it's still the grayed out access control is corrupted delete it and create a new one Empties currently some access empties corrupted masses over here. You just have to delete it and create a new one. So check out for a administrator. Okay, administrator not grayed out. You can give a full control to the administrator. And local service network service restricted let's give a full control and here's a sk don't user it's a grayed out so what are you guys gonna do just remove it and then click on add sometimes it happens like this select the principal okay it's so sk don't click on advance find now search for skdont users so maybe there must be a users here is a users click on ok click on ok give a full control click on ok now you have a skdont user with the full control click on apply and then click on ok click on ok and just select the folder try to shift delete and Click on continue and you can see the folder is gone. So the different kinds of issues you will be facing while doing well with the folders and files. Sometimes you will be getting the error messages like this with the security issue. So you can follow this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful and help you fix this issue. If you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another great stuff. Have a good day.